Christine and Sarah would come along to play group weekly and so over time we built a relationship and, and got to you know chat to each other and Christine through that time built some trust with me and was able to talk to me about some of the struggles that she was having. I got to know Sarah and she was able to let me know that things were a little tough at home and that you know as far as food went they really didn't have a lot and she was really worried for her mum and certainly for her brother as well what Christmas might be like for them. All her friends were talking about what they wanted for Christmas and Sarah wasn't able to do that. For Sarah Christmas is not such an exciting time. It's a time where she sees her mum really stressed. It's a time when there's not a lot in the house. It's a time when you know other kids might have a Christmas tree. At their house, at Sarah's house, there is no Christmas tree because mum doesn't want to you know, give false hope to the children that there might be gifts under there and she just can't afford to do that. You know, mum's struggling as a single mum um, just to put food on the table for her family. So the thought of having to find that extra you know, few dollars even to buy a gift is really, really hard and it just doesn't happen. So for Sarah, you know, Christmas is a tough time. Sarah's Christmas day is no different to any other day for her. She'd be up first thing and probably like most kids, off to the kitchen looking for breakfast, looking for something to eat, looking for some fresh milk. Often for Sarah, you know, that's not there. There's nothing in the cupboards, they're empty. Sarah's really quiet. She keeps things in, she bottles it up and it takes a long time for her to be able to feel that she can let you know how she's feeling. So, you know, most of the time you see this quiet little girl, reserved, you know, playing by herself, um, because, you know, life's really tough for her. Christmas should be, said, a special, exciting time. And for many of the families that come to Wesley Family Services, it's not an exciting time, it's a scary time. It's a time where, as a, as a mum, they feel inadequate. It's a, it's a time when they feel that they can't provide for their children. And it's, it's really sad to see a mum feeling that she's not doing the best as a parent just because she can't provide those extra things for her children. I remember one Christmas I turned up at Christina's house with a hamper and some toys for the children and she was absolutely overwhelmed. She couldn't believe that this would be the first time that she would have all those special things on Christmas Day. The kids came running outside and they, you know, look at that bag and go, oh my goodness, there's something for me. You know, they just absolutely are over the moon. They can't believe it. And, you know, the, the, just the smiles on their faces, they're just they're so grateful that somebody thought of them. Without your donations, if we didn't have these hampers, these families would go without because they don't have the, you know, the ability, the finances to be able to provide these things for their, for their family. So without a hamper from Wesley Mission, yeah, there would be no special Christmas lunch. It would just be like any other, any other day of the week. Wesley Mission hampers make such a difference to this family. The children can wake up knowing that you know they get to enjoy Christmas Day just like their friends. The excitement in these kids' faces is unbelievable.